Whether they're white with black stripes or black with white stripes, there's one act these zebras have in common. And I'm not talking about the zebras from Africa. Zebra mussels are invasive species, which means they did not naturally grow here. These zebra mussels originated in Asia and have caused the United States issues for decades now with their mass reproductions. There's a really major case study in the Great Lakes region. They were introduced in about uh, sometime in the 1980s and um, nobody over there was prepared to handle that uh, introduction of that species. And because of that, it caused millions of damage um, to the Great Lakes region uh, in a number of ways. These threats include clogging water pipes, coating reefs where fish spawn, which causes a decrease in fish population, decreasing the amount of property value and beach use due to their loitering and interfering with the sailing and shipping industry by fouling up holes, motors, docks, and marinas. Now there is the possibility that they could become a threat to North Carolina, according to the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Because they reproduce at such high rates and in such large numbers, they pose a really big threat to native organisms and are able to outcompete them for resources like food and habitat space. All across the country, moss balls have been pulled from shelves, specifically the Marimo Moss Ball Grab and Go and the Mini Marimo Moss Balls. And if you have purchased one recently, um, it, it's probably the safest to, to assume that it is infected and that you do need to dispose of those moss balls. Disposing of zebra mussels in any water they have been in from aquariums or elsewhere must be done carefully. You need to make sure those zebra mussels cannot um, be alive. So you need to either freeze them or boil them. And then that way it's uh, easier to ensure that those zebra mussels, no matter where they end up, cannot invade whatever space they are in. The larvae from these mollusks can enter our water system and then the whole life cycle begins and they can grow in our water pipes and end up clogging our water system. It's not just our water treatment plants that could be affected. They can actually filter out so much plankton from the water that your native fish population, the juveniles, won't have food to eat. So your fishing industry will just collapse entirely. Here is just one example of how zebra mussels can overtake aquatic life. Uh, it's a picture of a lobster that kind of looks like the barnacles on an old boat where it's just so dense that the lobster can't even move at this point. Moss balls are not the only mode of transportation for zebra mussels. So they can actually hitch a ride on your boat. They call them hitchhikers. Um, if your boat sits in the water for a couple of days, it can actually attach itself to the hull and they can live for multiple days outside of the water in damp and kind of cool areas and be transported to another lake. Um, another way is if you have weeds like water, grass, water grasses on your boat, they can stay in those and be transported as well. While there are no known cases of zebra mussels in North Carolina, you can still do your part by disposing of any moss balls purchased recently and keeping an eye out on what may be hitchhiking on your boat. The best thing to do is make sure that you keep an eye on the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission website.